Okay, gonna open up Facebook here real quick and go to Marketplace. I'm gonna sell, create listing items. Now, this is just gonna be a, uh, I got a video. I'm gonna add that. I do believe it is this second one right here. And then for the, uh, the main image here, I'm just going to go, that'll be the first image people see. And then we'll do kind of a 180 oblique rear. And then we'll do from the looking down at the handlebars. You know, I think people like kind of looking down what they're going to see when they're mowing. And then there's a, a picture from the top side. And there's the left side more. And I think that's all. That's all the uh, pictures I'm going to upload. And then with one video, 47 seconds long, the maximum is uh, one minute that you can have on there. Okay. And so for the title, I'm just going to uh, lawnmower. Let's go to cap, if you can. Just yard machine lawnmower. Okay, simple. I don't know why it's putting that in there. Okay, fine. Please, let me just continue. Why is this not, why is this doing this? Okay, net price. And I'm going to do, how about 90? I think we get 90 out of this. And also, I'm going to take out the parts. Okay, get back down here. All right, yard machine lawnmower. Category lawnmower. All right, condition is uh, used good, definitely. Wouldn't say it's like new, but uh, I'll put in here recently. I usually dictate everything. I don't type much. Recently uh, serviced. Just cleaned out the carburetor. Uh, starts great, runs great. Uh, let's see, blade sharp. Okay, there's a new air filter on there. Look pretty new to me. And then uh, just ha like to have a little joke here. It makes grass greener than your neighbors. Okay, and you can put a little smiley face there, or something like that. Just what I do. Okay, I meet up at 7.50, and it's south, new... Sound Road six three zero three one. Okay, it's a dollar. Parking lot, nice public place. I think this gives people a Warm and fuzzy, it should. It does for me. Uh, and I live around the corner. So they know I'm close. And this works pretty good. 
you know, when we go on back and forth with negotiating with the people, um, when I n know for sure that they're on their way to this address, I'll go ahead and give them my address. You know, when I know that they're on their way, they know how to use a GPS, they don't want turn by turn directions, you know, I can go ahead and text them my address and then they can come and it's like not even one minute away from this parking lot. So, um, that's what I do and, uh, you can do whatever you want. This works pretty good. Okay. So I go delivery method. Um, you know, you can offer, sometimes I offer like to uh, delivery, like $2 per mile from the address shown, um, an extra $2 per mile from that address to there. So then they can calculate that and figure out what it's extra it's going to cost them to uh, get it delivered. You know, some people, they just don't have a vehicle to pick it up. It's one person, maybe it's a single lady or something. They can't carry this thing, put it, pick it up. Loaded, unloaded, that kind of thing. So I can offer that service, but it's going to cost a little extra. That's fine. So I'll do a local pickup, door pickup, door drop off, even. Okay. So I can offer that if somebody's on the fence. Uh, sometimes, like I said, I put it in there. Now, here's a kind of cool thing all these groups, um, you can uh, go ahead and select these groups. You can join different groups, you know, read the rules. And uh, join, and then when you're when I blast this out, I mean, probably you know, in all these groups, it's over a hundred something thousand people um, that uh, are going to be seeing this potentially. So it's pretty cool. Get down to some of these bigger numbers here, and uh, definitely want to get you know. Or bank for your buck. You can do up to, I got 15 now. You can do up to 20 groups. And yeah, this is hitting a lot of groups. Okay, so I get that done and I'm just about done and hit publish. And that's going out. And when that little thing beeps, we know it's going to. Be live so that's how you do it and um, some people put like no holds blah 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 and you know that's something if you just don't want to you know mess with going back and forth with people to say whoever shows up first gets it I just like working with one individual at a time kind of feeling them out they'll ask if it's still available and the auto answer that you can press is yes are you still interested and you can do that. And if there's, uh, you know, consistent back and forth, I feel pretty confident there that they're planning on being on the way. And uh, when I, I ask them, hey, you know, could you let me know when you're leaving? And then when they do, you know, and I feel confident because they've done a good communication back and forth, I'll go ahead and give them my residence address, you know, my own address, and they, they can come directly to me. And um, so then I have to live this up in my car or my truck and uh, take it to them. Um, okay, that's about it. Now it's live and I'll just be waiting for some uh, contacts. Okay, so put this on about a half an hour ago and right now I've got two potential buyers. So if in a half an hour I get two people interested, I got it at a pretty decent price, I'm thinking, okay. So if I put it up there and I get like maybe 10, 15 inquiries in about half an hour, okay, I probably priced it too low. So I think 125 is a pretty good price uh, for this. So uh, this is the first person. And it's a good price because I'm not being bombarded by you know, just a bunch of uh, people asking. So, you know, it, it's great. It's manageable. If uh, you have it too low, um, you, you're going to get just a ton of people and you might want to consider just taking it down totally, uh, deleting the listing and then relisting it at a higher price versus increasing the price. I mean, you could just go in there, edit it, and increase the price. But what I do is I'll just totally, if I got it priced way too low, I'll just take it down and start over. So anyway, I'm going to 
deal with this person, how much del delivery to Delwood. I think this is like maybe three miles away, so that'd be another six bucks. So um, I would just tell him 130. 130 total. And this is Darla. Okay. Darla Young McNeil. All right. And I check these people out. Uh, if it's a lady, I'm not too crazy uh, worried about it, but I do check out their uh, profile. Okay. She looks pretty innocent. Um, just photos, make sure there's no weird stuff going on. Just looks like a family uh, mom. Okay, easy. Okay, so that's that's uh, decent. So I'll just kind of wait for her reply, and then if I don't hear from back from her, here's another Eva. Uh, I'll just tell her yes, it's available. Okay, so I'm only dealing with two people. If I get like five people, I'll just kind of go in order. I'll ask the first person. You know, I'll tell the first person, yeah, it's available. Then wait a few minutes, I'll go on to the next person. Yeah, it's available. Wait a few minutes, go on to the next person. So if they're not immediately like, you know, reaching in back out to me, I'll just uh, move on. And then I will, uh, if I don't feel like changing the price and there's a lot of people interested, I might just deal with the first two people and tell everybody else i'll just copy and paste a message that says something like hey you know a lot of people i guess i had this priced a little low so i'm getting a lot of interest and i'm dealing you know i'm working on uh, working out uh with some other people right now on it and uh, first come first serve so it looks like okay okay i want to pick it up what time will work for you and i'll just tell her like uh 11 o'clock. Okay, so she did respond. Okay, do you do credit cards or cash? Okay, I'll do cash. And I might uh, tell this person, uh, I'll tell her cash. Now, I might With this one, I, I'm kind of moved on a little too quick to the second person, and I already I just gave her a time. So, okay, I am at work now. You give me your cell number. My husband will call you or text you. Okay, you know, I'm going to move on from that, and uh, I'm not giving out my phone number. I'll just tell this one, cash. Good thing I just don't have a lot of people I'm dealing with right now. And I'll also... We'll see how serious this person is. And this is for the delivery. Just throw it in the car. And I might tell her because I'm picking up my son here. Uh, let's see in about 20 minutes and so I, it's uh, 9.51 now. Yeah, so I could be over there at about uh, 11 o'clock. I'm just trying to get ahead of this and make her make a decision to do it or not. And this person with, I'm at work right now, give me your cell phone number. I mean, she seemed like, uh, let me look at this profile. All right, and if it looks kind of weird, I will, uh, uh, photos, uh, uh, this profile doesn't look, um, posts, 
uh, cover photo, whatever. Um, she wants an answer. So I want to take a look at this about info. Okay, there's no... Uh, she's got no information on this uh, about stuff. So it's like there's no workplaces, education places, live, nothing. Um, I'm just going to tell her I'm just... Uh, Okay. Hey, this is Rich. Uh, thanks for watching so far. Hopefully you got to see the whole series of this case study, finding a mower and flipping it for some cash. I did end up selling this mower for $125. And for this little thing, we're in the Midwest. So that right now is a good price. It's uh, the very end of April, uh, 2024. So in the, uh, we're still kind of in the beginning of the grass cutting season. Um, by now people have pretty much, uh, gotten the mowers that they're going to use for the rest of the season. So, uh, but there's still, you can get a pretty good premium price and, you know, for a lawnmower like this, uh, I would say price range from like 80 to $150. And $150 would be more for a uh, mower if you would have the bag, if it's got a bag, and if it's self-propelled. Okay, so a lot of people end up not even using their bag, but uh, it's nice extra to have. <clears throat> and it justifies a little bit higher price. Um, but this one was just a plain Jane push mower. But even now, uh, early on, and people are still getting their mowers that they're going to use for this season. And so they get, you know, they're paying kind of more of a premium uh, once you get into the uh, the end of May going into June. It's not some you're not really going to get much premium uh, price for these used mowers. Uh, and going into June, it gets into more of a service sort of uh, situation if that's what you're into. But for uh, in this case, with this uh, case study uh, for fixing the old broke mower, uh, I did end up selling it for $125. I put it on the Facebook marketplace. I ended up selling it to a lady named Dana. Um, after, right after I posted it on Facebook, uh, I got a message from Dana, is it still available? And then another message from another lady whose profile seemed to be, didn't seem very legit. Uh, there was, the profile wasn't filled out at all. It had two images on there of her, then her and her boyfriend or husband, whatever. And uh, she was being a little pushy. She actually gave me her number in the instant message on Facebook Marketplace there to uh, call her or to call her husband. And it just seemed like a setup. So I kind of put her to the side and I started working with Dana. And in the message, she actually gave me her number. And then I also went and checked out her profile. And she just seemed like a, just a... Uh, a lady with a family. She had family pictures on her profile. She was local. Um, it was pretty pretty easy. And then I just went ahead and put the immediately put the uh, listing as pending. And uh, we ended up doing the deal. And she had another mower that uh, she gave to me. I I, I was charging her five dollars for uh, delivery. And you saw if you watched the video in the ad where I uh, put the commonplace. It's like a supermarket um, parking lot that's not too far from me. I always give that out and I give people the option to go in there. And when I know for sure, I kind of trust them based on their profile and how they've interacted through chats or even if they call me or I call them, then I have a good feeling about them. And when I know that they're on their way to that common place, I will text them again or message them again uh, to go to my home address, uh, which is not far from that parking lot. It takes like a minute uh, to get to my place from there. So that's just kind of a little safety thing. I don't like giving my address out to anybody really right away. I want to make sure that they're legit um, and I have a good feeling about that. And that takes a little, you know, uh, practice. And uh, when you're, if you haven't sold a lot on Facebook Marketplace, you just got to watch out for buyers and sellers out there. Uh, it can be kind of weird sometimes.
anyway, uh, thanks for watching this series. I think it was a five video series. Uh, next thing I'm going to go into, I, I think, is uh, the tools that I've used. A lot of common tools, and not a lot, uh, but very common tools. And uh, some not so common, but easy and cheap um, for the most part to get if you want to really be able to turn these mowers around and get them out and sold quick. Um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks again. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe so you can see uh, that video um, that I'm coming out with on tools. And check out the channel. I've got uh, probably a couple hundred videos on here. Uh, most all is, uh, you know, small engine repair stuff. So uh, have a good day.